Hey there guys, what's going on? So this week is starting to rapidly draw itself to a close now that we're into Thursday and uh, with any luck hopefully we'll be able to slip one more thing out there before this week ends and we get into next week which promises to, to be a pretty healthy dosage of new releases. Uh, we have Josh Ritter with The Beast in Its Tracks which is uh, one of the more uh, anticipated early releases for yours truly at least. Um, the very intriguing, uh, late to be noticed by, again, yours truly, Molly Drake album. And um, I believe the Sunvolt album is also around the corner as well. So it promises to be a pretty interesting glut of new things coming along. Um, Ritter was one of the Probably the highest uh, anticipated release that I had before some of the other uh, bigger stuff started showing up this year. Um, and who knows, it could get even bigger. We're still in the very early, early stages of the year. But as far as that goes, um, that has definitely been one of my really hotly anticipated uh, releases. But when it comes to March 5th, this is sort of my segue over today, since as you can see from the title up above you there, this is going to be yet another vinyl unboxing video, something that uh, I've been doing quite a lot of lately, but it's just been the product of quite a few releases and interesting things to come my way, and of course the fact that I like promoting vinyl here on this channel pretty much as often as I can, and with that March 5th and vinyl unboxing in mind, as I try to keep everything together here and keep you all with me as we go forward, we have... The new band of Thurston Moore, uh, of Thurston Moores, I should say, uh, who, of course, has been in Sonic Youth for many, many, many years. Um, unfortunately, Sonic Youth has more or less uh, hit the skids uh, in recent years with all of its members pursuing various projects. Um, I've, of course, done a review of Thurston Moore's album, um, uh, um, Demolished Thoughts, excuse me, uh, his solo album, Demolished Thoughts, back in 2011 I did that. Um, I thought that was really excellent. Of course, I did... Uh, coverage for Lee Ronaldo, I believe. I know I had that record anyway. I can't remember if I did a video. I believe I did a video on it. Uh, that was one of my more favorite uh, uh, underrated releases of 2012. Uh, I know Kim Gordon's been out there, but of course uh, Kim Gordon and Thurston Moore are splitting up after uh, a long time of, of being together. So that's kind of put the band in limbo. And he's made this, Thurston has made this solo release since then, and now he's back with this uh, this new group, Tw Chelsea Light Moving, which um, obviously incorporates himself. I'm not really familiar with anyone else in the group um, other than the bassist, uh, let me see if the name is on the back, Samara Lebelski, um, who actually did some work on strings with Demolished Thoughts and comes back here to play bass guitar and bring it along. And it's definitely more of that artsy, experimental attempt to be sort of edgy rock as opposed to the more softly muted acoustic elements uh, that were in Demolished Thoughts, uh, which of course was produced by Beck and had a very interesting uh, sound element to it. I think Chelsea Late Moving is more of his attempt to get back to the, uh, the stylings of Sonic Youth with that sort of attempt to be avant-garde perhaps. Um, there'll definitely be more about it in a review to come up, uh, probably next week. We'll see where, uh, it ends up shaking out along with getting more old stuff done. But I like Thurston and I like the projects he's done. I like Demolished Thoughts a lot, which gave me, um, a lot of faith to want to, uh, get this album and really dig into this newest project of his as well. Um, plus I really like, uh, the type of business that Matador Records does. I've always really been able to rely on them, and I enjoy their artists from, you know, Thurston Moore, uh, Chelsea Light moving now, still Thurston Moore, uh, Lee Ronaldo, Perfume Genius, uh, Cat Power, uh, you know, I, I, Kurt Vile, um, who's got a great record coming up in April that I'm looking forward to doing some coverage on here. Um, I really like dealing with them. Um, they are really one of the better uh, companies out there. I mean, this record doesn't come out until March 5th, but because I ordered it early, they sent it early, and I've gone into this before in other videos. It's one of those really special feelings when, uh, you know, a company will really, I mean, they'll really reward you for wanting to get the record early and being really interested and being a fan. You know, if they've got the, the pressings and everything's all ready, they send it to you early like this, and I, I really appreciate that, and because they're located in the city, New York City, um, it's not 
a long uh, passage from there to get here. So everything comes really fast and you get this uh, early taste. They did this last year with AC Newman as well. I believe I got the record a full week early in advance. And uh, that, was, that was a really cool thing. But that's a topic for another video when it comes to dealing with certain labels and um, their reliance or complete lack thereof. In some cases, I have a very, very big complaint about that. Um, but that is definitely a topic for another video at another time. Today we're here to talk about Chelsea Light moving with a little bit of a bonus at the end. Just something else that happened to come today and I thought, well, what the hell, it's, it's older, but I'm gonna just go through it anyway, especially considering the video, uh, the videos I've done this week for Adams for Peace. Um, there's gonna be a lot more about that as well. Some very, very interesting things to come up about that. Uh, but for now, here is the cover. For Chelsea Light moving and a really nice gatefold inside again another thing Matador is very good at and what's interesting about this record sleeve right off the bat is the fact and I don't know if I'll be able to point it out or not there's also a 7 inch that came with this for ordering early, I think. Um, maybe it's, it's on all pressings, it might be. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to pick it up really but on, ca on camera, but inside, there's actually more design work of things inside the sleeves themselves, which you never ever usually see. And I've been looking a bit myself to try to uh, pick up on what some of it is without, of course, harming the sleeves and uh, it's interesting that you can you kind of got some artsy pictures and things going on sort of inside as well as out and you can breeze through that and, and what I like again with Matador is uh, you do get usually do end up getting bonuses of some kind um, and in this case you get the, the bonus 7 inch again this may come with all pressings but um, I like when they come with a few extra songs and there's a couple of tracks on here. Uh, Heaven Metal, which is an original, and then Communist Eyes, which is a cover of The Germs. Uh, so that might be more of that interesting rock sound, experimental rock sound to uh, pursue. Actually, I think of anything, um, Matador really put the style of sound on this record in the most uh, unusual but possibly relevant fashion. I'll read off it because they also threw in a little promotional poster as they like to do. And they say, Chelsea Light Moving is the current group led by Sonic Youth founder Thurston Moore. He's the songwriter and plays over-amped hyper-electric guitar and sings with raw glam destructo vocals. Open your head. And <laughs> if I'm looking for words next week or whenever I get on putting this review together, I'll certainly have to start there um, because that's an interesting way of putting it, but I think it's a very accurate way of saying it as well. Um, Thurston goes either way for me. I mean, I wasn't like a heavy Sonic Youth listener, but I liked his solo material, and, um, some of it really works, and I really like what he does with it, and then other times it's like, it feels like it's an overreach and attempting to be artsy and edgy and, you know, over the top and stuff. It'll be interesting to see which kind of wins out and how this record ultimately balances and we'll, you know, get to that more in my review. And this is the back cover, the titles of the songs, again the title of the band at the top, uh, all songs by Thurston Moore, Matador Records 2013, Thurston Moore on guitars and vocals, Samara Lebelski on bass, John Maloney on drums, Keith Wood on guitar, who was recorded and mixed by photographs by James Hamilton, all the credits and whatnot, so there's no inner uh, sleeve for that. And again, I give it up to Matador. It's not true in all their releases. Um, I'm not going to just go on at length about, you know, something I, I can't speak to with complete and 100% accuracy. But at least when it comes to Thirst and stuff and uh, some of the other releases I've gotten through Matador, they're always really excellent quality. Again, I like this, this the sleeves with interesting photographs and stuff going on there. And the pressing inside with the Peace logo going on there. And then Chelsea Light moving on the back. Uh, I really, the design work is really cool. 
um, at the very least, I gotta say, I really like that. I think some of the music um, is gonna be really good as well. I listen to some of the excerpts on uh, NPR because they often have uh, the ability to listen early to this stuff, and I I liked what I heard. So, it, it, like I said before, it'll be an interesting balance to see what wins out between the just the musicianship and then the over exuberant artsiness. We'll see which which side is the better one and which side will be the victor in uh, in this particular display. But that is the unboxing real quick for Chelsea Light Moving as I'm hoping in some way to try to keep this video on the shorter side. I'm sure I will fail because every video I say that in I automatically fail. But <laughs> that's Chelsea Light Moving. Front back bonus 7 inch with two uh, extra songs promo poster, which will go on some other blank space of wall that I will find somewhere, somehow, as you can plainly see, not here. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing a review, a little vinyl corner action on that one. But in my little bonus here, as uh, I work on trying to put this video to bed here, uh, we have Tom York with 2006's The Eraser. Now. The reason I picked this up more than anything, I've had this digitally for probably a year or two, um, is because of how much I really enjoyed uh, Adams for Peace with uh, the new record Amok from this week, which, uh, like I said, um, there's a lot to talk about with that uh, in hopefully what will be the next video here that will, will be the soonest one after this one, uh, because I have a lot to say about that, and if what, if you're really following my channel, why one of those videos is no longer on my page right now, but that is another topic that needs another video to breathe on its own. This is the eraser, the front cover, and I, I liked a lot of these songs to, to begin with, like Hero Downhill, uh, The Clock, Skip Divided, Symbol Rush, you know, stuff stu that really appealed to me. Except, especially Skip Divided, I was really like that song. And it's interesting to point out the parallels, of course, because The Eraser was the beginning of this side project, and then uh, Tom York incorporated Flea and, you know, Nigel Gottrich, Mauro Rufosco brought these other guys in, and then it eventually became Adams for Peace out of that to play these songs. And it's interesting how it's reflected in the artwork, if you've watched my unboxing for, um, for Adams for Peace, how it's um, eerily similar, as though it is, you know, sort of a... Uh, a sequel or like a chapter two to, to where that began, especially with stuff like this, the same sort of futuristic um, burning and destruction of like futuristic cities and things is going on. And again, no lyrics, not a big deal. Uh, music, Tom York, produced by Nigel Gottrich, arranged by Nigel and Tom. Print, again, Stanley Donwood, of course, where it was mastered. Thank yous to everybody. And, um, Nice pressing here. If you watched my unboxing for Adams for Peace, I got into a bit of a debate between the standard and deluxe editions, which seems to not really be garnering a great deal of favor. There's been a few dislikes on that note, but uh, I stick by what I said because I haven't heard anything contrary to that point yet. And quality comes into play here again because right on the front of this, when I opened it up uh, and it was sealed, you know, this is 180 gram audiophile quality pressing, and even just holding it in its uh, in its sleeve there, you can sense it right away. It's heavy, it's nice, and this was well done. And even for a couple bucks more, I would have appreciated that with, uh, with the Adams for Peace release. But it is what it is, and uh, I'm just, I, I'm glad I could go back, kind of pick up with uh, chapter one, maybe understand the eraser a bit more kind of incorporate the two things together and see where the sound starts from the laptop all the way to kind of the the studio guys really doing their thing and I'm glad to I'm glad to get it the art is really interesting and uh, I like a bunch of the songs and hopefully uh, the rest of the record will really grow on me as well but uh, like I said to try to keep this short and sweet that is the eraser with Tom York on this final unboxing installment as the bonus as well as 
the main entree for this particular installment with Chelsea Light moving by Thurston Moore, his new band and side project or main project or whatever it is these days. I, uh, I hope you enjoy both of these records here in this little presentation. Of course, look out for another video coming up very soon about the Adams for Peace debacle. And uh, looking ahead, of course, look out for uh, past reviews uh, for things that have come out already. Um, as well as a lot of new stuff that's coming up, including some, uh, some more early release coverage stuff. But that's it, and that is all for me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this, this yet another vinyl unboxing installment. It's always a pleasure to do and to promote vinyl. And uh, as always, you know, I, I'm always having fun, and I'm glad to, to bring it here to you. And even when these videos are really on the long side, I'm always really appreciative when, uh, when people will watch them and uh you know stick by stick by me or subscribe to me or whatever you know i i really appreciate that and it uh it always inspires more work and i'm just um, i'm always glad to to put something up whenever i can and i'm always glad that you keep watching um by all means if you're not watching this through my channel go watch my channel see if there's more stuff you like there by all means uh view subscribe follow along there will always be more things coming up maybe a little bit less in the in the next few weeks but we'll see what happens and uh that's about it, but until next time, guys, keep your music flowing and your vinyl spinning. I will see you all very, very soon.